Hello my friends, this is Amner Hunter from AmnerHunter.com. In today's video, I want to inform you and also check out this incredible free plugin from the company Slate Digital and Steven Slate Drums. This plugin, it's called Trigger 2. It's an industry standard and there is a free version available actually. This plugin allows you to sample replace a live drum kit for instance to enhance the sound of the drums. To be honest, there are no free resources like this. This is a super professional audio plugin that can give you great results and it has uh, very cool features. In this video, I want to walk you through the installation very quickly on a Windows computer. Also, I want to give you some information about the features, the limitations of the free version, and of course, share with you how to use this plugin and some of the philosophies that I follow every time when I need to sample replace some live drums. All of the applicable links are going to be down below in the description and first comment. And don't forget to check out the timestamps as well that I leave you down below. Before we dive into the content, my friends, I would like to invite you to my website, amnerhunter.com, where I have some cool freebies for you. I have some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players. Also, I have some free tools available, a huge collection of guitar impulses, my Cubase mixing template, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out my blog, and this channel which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. Now let's get to the video. So this is the website of Steven Slade Drums. I suggest you to create an account, it's free. Go ahead and create one here, just click account or enter in your existing account if you have one. Inside your account under the product section, you're gonna have two products, right? The drum plugin of uh, Steven Slade Drums, which is awesome, by the way, I have a video about it. And they added the Trigger 2 plugin on its free version, which to be honest, surprised me a lot to find out about this free version, because this is an amazing uh, piece of software. There are not free options in the market, to be honest, like this. So click on the Trigger 2 button and then it will take you to another part of the website where you download the installer of the Steven Slade Drums platform where you finally install the plugin. Before you continue on this process, I suggest you to create a free iLock account. You don't need the dongle, like the USB physical piece of uh, gear. You just need to create a free iLock cloud account. Go there, sign up because you're gonna need that account to be synchronized with this Steven Slade Drums account. Here on the website, it will ask you to enter your iLock information and synchronize both accounts. Download this installer, execute the file. It's gonna be very quickly. And afterwards, open up the application on your computer. You're gonna need to log in, of course, with your Steven Slade Drums account credentials. And then you can now start the installation of the Trigger 2 plugin. So just go through the steps. Remember that it's very important that you install the plugin on the correct folder on your computer. And also you're gonna be installing some uh, free samples that comes with this plugin. After you finish the installation, you're gonna be ready to use the plugin. So now let's go to my DAW. Let's get more in depth into this plugin. I am inside my session here in Cubase. I have this live drum recording. The plugin goes into any insert on the individual tracks. I am putting one instance here on the kick drum and another one in the snare. Of course, you can replace more parts of the kit with this plugin, but Let's talk about the limitations of this free version. Well, first of all, here within the plugin, you cannot load any wave samples. You need to use the files that another piece of software from Steven Slade Drums can create. These files that I'm talking about are the TCI files, all right? So these files are created with another software that comes in the paid version of this plugin. So we are limited to the samples that come here in this free version which uh, to be honest are pretty cool. You have some kick samples, another ones here, and you have some snare samples as well, all right? Pretty cool. So you cannot load any wave samples or something like that. But to be honest, these samples that come in the free version are very, very usable, and I think they can work pretty great to enhance a live drum recording. So now let's talk about the features of this plugin. First, let's break down a little bit the sections here, you have a gate, pretty cool. In case you want to get rid of a little bit of room recording or some mic bleed, you have the input knob here. You have some filters, a low cut or high cut filter, like a high pass filter and low pass filter. You have some buttons here 
to increase the sensitivity of the software. You have the sensitivity knob and this detail, which comes very in handy. This sensitivity knob can be very useful for ghost notes, for instance, on the snare. So if you increase it, you're going to have a little bit more of those ghost notes. Double click and it goes back to default. And this detail knob set up that threshold. When you see the waveforms here, with this detail knob, you're going to choose what to replace. Whatever is inside this area is going to be replaced. Right here on the output section, you have the volume and the mix knob. Pretty cool to have the mix knob because you can have a little bit of the original drum sound and a little bit of the sample. You can have it in 50%, 70%, pretty cool. And you can have a very good blend of both sounds. You can decide how much percentage you are going to be replacing with the samples. I'm going to demonstrate this later on. Here you have a mixer, pretty cool because you can blend different samples into one and you can use this volume fader that you have here you can also pan the samples or you can tune the samples you can shift the pitch of the samples actually you have the solo button the mono button and the face flip button here so you have the browser here where you browse through your samples the ones that you have available these are the only ones that are available and here in the settings you can select the folder where the samples are this is the route that it's following so this folder was chosen previously on the installation another important section is this view curves section where you can mess with the dynamics of the samples you can pretty much compress the samples more in case that you need it to be honest i don't need to use this because i want to manipulate the things on my mixer in my DAW. So let's move to the view mixer tab. Now I'm gonna use this plugin to enhance this live drum kit and let's see what happens and let me know what you think about this.
when it comes to sample replacement, a lot of people have this black or white thinking, as my friend Bobby would say. A lot of people are against and a lot of people are 100% agree with drum sampling. I think that we can have a great thinking about this. We can have a blend of the live performance with the samples, all right? I'm not saying go ahead and replace everything on the drums just because you have the plugin. I'm saying listen to the drums. If you need to enhance a little bit with samples, you can use this plugin to do that because you have this cool feature, the mix knob. It's pretty cool and pretty easy to blend both sounds into one. So I think you can definitely enhance it a lot. I like to use drum samples sometimes when the recording needs to be enhanced. Maybe since we are in home studios, sometimes we don't have the proper rooms to record drums. This is a pretty cool option and it's amazing that it's free. Even with the samples that come on this free version and with the limitation, I think we can definitely have better results on our drum sounds. Please let me know down below in the comments, my friends, what's your opinion on drum samples? What are your thoughts on this plugin? Do you use drum samples on your own production? What's the approach that you follow? I will be more than glad to read your comments and opinions regarding this matter. Before we go, my friends, I would like to invite you to my website, amnerhunter.com, where I have some free stuff available. I have some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players. Also, I have some free tools available, a huge collection of guitar impulses, my Cubase mixing template, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out my blog and this channel, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. Thank you very much for watching the video and I'll see you very soon on the next one. All right, take care.